My name is Emma. I live with my parents. I have a sister named Sophia. She's more beautiful and smarter than me, and our parents have always adored her. As for me, I've always been treated like I'm invisible by my parents. Ugh, hiding in your room again. You're such an idle youth. Don't think we'll be around forever. They would say to me, I never thought they'd be around forever, and I have my own thoughts and actions. But my parents have labeled me as a neat and don't take me seriously. One day, my sister spoke to me. Poor thing, you're neither cute nor exceptionally talented. Don't you ever wonder what you're living for? I'm happy with my life, so don't say weird things. Oh well, do as you please, but let me tell you something great. Something great? What? I'm getting married to a very handsome and high-income man. Oh, that's good for you. Jealous? You must be. You'll never get married. My sister assumed I couldn't get married and kept bragging about herself. I'm not particularly interested in marriage, so whether I can get married or not doesn't matter to me. I was planning to attend my sister's wedding since she's family, but then... What? You're coming to my wedding? Yeah, is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. If a bottom feeder idle youth like you comes, it'll ruin the ceremony. What's a bottom feeder idle youth? A bottom feeder idle youth is just that. You can't do anything. Completely useless. Why are you saying such horrible things? I just want to celebrate your wedding. I don't need your congratulations. Don't come. My sister despised me and repeatedly told me not to come. Mother and father also said that a bottom feeder idle youth like me shouldn't come. But I thought it would be a problem for my sister if no family members were there, so I decided to attend. On the wedding day, as I was walking in my dress, father and mother found me. What are you doing here? We told you not to come to the wedding. My parents yelled at me. Hearing a commotion, my sister approached. Why is a bottom feeder idle youth like you here? I didn't invite you. But if there's no family, it might look suspicious. I thought it would be better for you if I was here. Why are you thinking unnecessary things? Your existence is a secret to the other family, you know? What? You didn't know about the family dinner, did you? We didn't invite you. Why would you do something so cruel? Cruel? This is only natural. You'd just be in the way. If we said we have a bottom feeder idle youth in our family, the marriage might be called off. That's why we didn't invite you. <laughs> My sister laughed hysterically as she said this. My parents were smirking. The three of them had conspired together. Seeing their determination to erase my existence, I became deeply saddened. Get out, you useless bottom feeder idle youth. My sister yelled at me with fury. I realized that nothing I said would matter to this family anymore. So I reluctantly decided to leave the venue. I'm going home then. Goodbye. <laughs> my family pointed and laughed at me as I said this. Holding back my frustration, someone called out to me on the way. Boss, good work today. Uh, good work? Wait, what are you wearing? Yes, I'm the one getting married, didn't you know? Uh, what? Wait, wait, how do you know Caleb? And what's this about being the boss? Ah, Sophia, this person is the president of my company. No way, 
You're the president? President? What's your relationship with Sophia? She's my sister. What? Sophia is your sister? But I didn't see you at the family greeting. Well, my sister didn't take me to the greeting. Why would she do such a thing? She thought I was a bottom feeder idle youth. Sophia, is this true? Caleb yelled at my sister. Wait, wait, but she's always in her room, just staring at her computer. I, I never thought she was working. My sister said trembling, but Caleb continued to be angry. Don't joke around. The boss gives us precise instructions from home. She's a skilled executive. Caleb's furious defense finally made my sister realize the gravity of what she had done. I... I didn't know. Emma, I'm sorry. I never thought. It's fine, sister. I understand what kind of person you are now. I'm going home, so I'll call the limousine. A limousine? A luxury car? Boss, you're leaving? Yes, it seems I'm not welcome here. As I said that, Caleb became very angry with my sister. Hey, what are you doing, Sophia? How dare you speak to the boss like that? But I didn't know. How can you blame me for not knowing? Ignorance is no excuse. Boss, I apologize for Sophia's rudeness. It's fine. She's my family, so you don't have to apologize. No, I'll take responsibility and call off the marriage with Sophia. What? Caleb, what are you saying? Quiet. I can't forgive someone who disrespects the boss. Caleb was angry, as if it were a personal affront to him. Why are you so angry? Yes, I said terrible things to Emma, but it's strange for you to be so angry about it. You see, I owe the boss a lot. Oh? I kept changing jobs, and my work history was a mess. I couldn't get hired anywhere, and the only places left were companies that ignored workers' rights and welfare, forcing people to work in unfair conditions. Just when I was about to give up and take a job at one of those places... My application was accepted, and I got an interview at the boss's company. Caleb was talking about when he first got hired at my company. It brings back memories. I remember that happening. The boss said she wanted to see me, not my resume. After talking with me for a while, she understood who I was and hired me. The boss's company offers fair working conditions and values me properly. Meeting the boss changed my life. Is that so? I didn't know. Wow, what a wonderful story. My sister was desperately trying to get on Caleb's good side. However, Caleb saw through her cunning plan and became even angrier. You, it's obvious you're trying to win me over, but I have no intention of forgiving the disrespect you showed to the boss. Caleb's genuine anger left my sister trembling. Please, don't cancel the wedding. Come on. Father and mother, say something. My sister was trying to get help from father and mother. But father and mother were just cowering and didn't seem to want to help. We didn't mean to blame Emma as much as Sophia did. That's right. This is all your own doing. What? What will I do if the wedding is canceled? My sister was crying and screaming. Caleb calmly explained what would happen next. If we cancel the wedding, there will be a cancellation fee. If we cancel on the same day, it will be 100%. What? 100%? How much money is that? Well, the total cost of the wedding was $30,000, so it would be $30,000. What? I have to pay $30,000 even if it's cancelled? That's how cancellation fees work. No way. Then we should just continue with the wedding. Sorry, but I won't do that. I can't forgive what you said to the boss. And I expect you would continue to speak abusively if we got married. I can't live with someone so dangerous. D-dangerous? 
but that's not true. I won't say anything mean to Emma from now on. Please marry me. What do you think, boss? Caleb turned to me, and I calmly replied. She's saying this now, but she's just saying what sounds good to get through this situation. If you get married, she'll surely start abusing you too, saying things like, It's lazy not to do housework just because you're working. Or, Being a homemaker is hard, so help with the chores. I see. Then it's better to call off the marriage. Hey, don't say such unnecessary things. I almost had him convinced. Did you hear that? She said convinced. That's not a word you use with someone you're going to marry, is it? I think so. I think it's better to call off the marriage. I'll go change. Caleb said that and walked away. Wait, don't go, Caleb. Emma, what are you doing? My wedding is ruined. Don't blame me. It's your own fault. It's what you deserve. My sister became even angrier at my words. If you hadn't come to the wedding venue in the first place, none of this would have happened. It's your fault. Take responsibility. Bring Caleb back right now. I understand how you feel, but Caleb seems to have lost his will to marry. If you get married in this state, it will only be painful for both of you. I think it's better to call it off. What should I do then? You heard the cancellation fee, right? He said $30,000. That's a huge amount. Yes, it is. Even if we split the cancellation fee, it's $15,000. No, if they say it's my fault, I might have to pay the whole amount. Well, that's a possibility. But what can you do? You've done enough to deserve it. Hey, I just said some harsh words. To cancel the wedding over that, it's too much. Don't tell me. It's Caleb's decision. Hey, father, mother, say something. When my sister turned to our parents, they suddenly became very friendly towards me. Wow, I never knew Emma had become a boss. Oh, my. As a mother, I'm so proud. No, I always believed in Emma. She's a real go-getter. From now on, let's live relying on Emma's money. Father and mother said that. Relying on my money? You must be joking. They had also been verbally abusive to me, so I didn't want to spend money on them. Sorry, but I don't want to live with my family anymore. I'm going home now to look for an apartment to live alone. What? Why? We've been living together all this time. Why suddenly live alone? I lived with you because I believed in something called family bonds. I thought that if we lived together, you might understand my job someday. But the result was different. You never understood my job and even insulted me. And now you want to rely on my money? Would you want to live with such people? I... I understand. I'm sorry. From now on, I'll cherish you. Please continue living with us, okay? I said no, didn't I? I don't want to live with you anymore. Even though I said that, father and mother kept insisting... What if we kick Sophia out of the house? Then you'll live with us, right? What? Wait, Father, what are you saying? Shut up. I was a fool to expect anything from you. We'd be better off living with Emma than with you. It was the moment Father abandoned my sister. As a family member, I didn't want to witness such a cruel moment. Father, just so you know, I hate people who abandon others so easily the most. What? Wh what are you saying? People like that will eventually flip-flop on me, too, so I can't live with them. No way. Hey, you stupid husband, what are you doing failing to lure her in? Shut up. While father and mother were arguing, Caleb returned, now dressed in casual clothes. What's going on? You still fighting? C caleb I can't believe you really went to change. I told you I would, didn't I? What are you talking about? Are you really going to call off the wedding? I hate this. Why is this happening? 
Yeah, just so you know, you're the cause, so you'll have to bear the full cancellation fee. I've already talked to our parents about it. What? That's terrible. It's not just my fault, is it? Sis, no matter how you look at it, it's your fault. Hey, hey, you be quiet. How dare you tell the boss to be quiet? I won't tolerate any more insults to the boss. Wait, wait, please wait. Boss, have you called the limo yet? No, I got caught up in talking and forgot to call. Then I'll call it. I need to go home, too. With that, Caleb started making the call. Wait a minute. Please reconsider. Reconsider? What's going to change? I don't love you anymore, you know? Don't say that. It was my fault. I promise I won't say anything terrible to Emma again. We've had this conversation many times. Enough already. Boss, I've called the limo. It'll be here soon. Then let's wait outside. I'll go change, too. Wait, Emma. Let's talk. There's nothing to talk about. Wait, Emma. Father and mother are begging, too. Without you, we'll have to rely on Sophia's money. But Sophia will pay the cancellation fee and run out of money. We won't be able to live properly. Father, mother, if you need money, why don't you get a part-time job or something? No way, I don't want to work at this age. It's okay, there are still people working, even in their 70s. And father and mother are still in their 60s, right? You're still energetic. That's not the problem. My body is heavy, and it's hard to move. And you're telling me to work? Yes. No way. Are we done here? I'm going to change, so don't talk to me anymore. After I get home, I'll pack my bags and stay at a hotel for now. I have no intention of dealing with you ever again. Hey, wait. Wait for me. Please don't go. Don't abandon us, Emma! My sister and parents were screaming, but I quickly changed and left the venue. Afterward, I rode home in the limo Caleb called, packed my bags, and headed to a hotel. I looked up apartments at the hotel, signed a lease right away, and completely cut ties with my family. Sophie ended up having to pay the $30,000 wedding cancellation fee. And my parents were so angry that they disowned her. In the end, my parents ran out of money and both had to work part-time. Sophia, having nowhere else to go after being disowned, began living as a gig worker. I continued to grow my company, increase my income, and lived happily ever after.